Implantable neuroprobes are the future of treatment for neurological disorders such as epilepsy, aiming to predict and prevent seizure activity in neurons through electronic recording and stimulation. The most successful implants will mimic every aspect of their target tissue. Key design principles inform the mechanical and electronic design. Beginning with electroconvulsive therapy, treatment has progressed through electronic stimulation into novel methods such as light and magnetic fields. In later years, implants may be almost indistinguishable from neurons. These take the form of electroconvulsive therapy, transcranial magnetic stimulation, micromagnetic stimulation, deep brain stimulation and optogenetics. Two of the key actors in the foreign body response are microglia and astrocytes. The implantation of a rigid probe will cause three major issues, inflammation, glial scarring and cell death. The material properties, such as Young's modulus of the probe, should be as close to brain tissue as possible to prevent further damage when the cells undergo micromotion as a result of movement, blood flow or breathing. Trends in implantable probes have progressed from stiff silicon probes to polymer substrates, then moving further towards thin film and mesh electronics. Miniaturised polymer probes require experience of nanofabrication techniques. Photolithography creates the pattern, sputtering deposits the metal, and etching is used to create probe shapes. Implantation techniques are illustrated here. In each case, the aim is to reinforce the flexible probe so it can be inserted easily into the tissue, but allow for flexibility during chronic implantation. The most common wireless power systems are ultrasound energy harvesters and electromagnetic antennas operating in the far, mid and near fields. Solar, triboelectric and thermoelectric energy are also emerging technologies. The future of implantable devices will require multidisciplinary expertise. The University of Glasgow, UK, in collaboration with the University of Modena, Italy, hope to achieve this as part of the European Union-funded Hermes project.